What's up everyone, John McIntyre here with episode three of Road to Front Lover Pull Up. You think I can get away with stealing Peter McKinnon's intro and no one would notice? I might think so. <laughs> What's up? All right, I'll stop. <laughs> so we have a bunch of stuff to get through in this video. I have a whole list of things that I wanna talk about, but I need some coffee. All right, so while the coffee is brewing, let me quickly give you guys a refresher, or if you haven't seen the series and this is your first episode, the things that we test in this series. First of all, we always test to see how my advanced tuck front lever pull-up is going. We also test to see where my one arm pull-up or one arm chin-up is at, and then obviously do some attempts of the full front lever pull-up, which you already saw in that beginning sequence. I think it's looking pretty good, but that's up to you guys to decide. Coffee's ready. So overall, progress has been really good when it comes to what my weekly training is. And if you wanna see exactly what I do, what exercises I do on a weekly basis, I have a whole video about it that I just posted up on your screen. But when it comes to the actual front lever pull up, we haven't seen that much progress uh, in between this episode and the last episode. <laughs> And to be honest, that is completely what I was expecting. And yes, I'm saying that to make myself feel better a little bit, but I have a good reason for not expecting a ton of progress for this episode. And that's mainly because I've put on about 12 pounds or about five kilograms for all you non-Americans since our last episode. You can see here in these physique shots, I'm looking a bit fuller, but with a little bit less definition. So I wasn't expecting any crazy gains for this episode. What are you doing? You wanna be in the video? Oh, wow. You guys like my cup? This is uh, Plant Daddy. It's because of all the plants. <laughs> so a uh, fun little side quest that we are doing for this series is testing to see if front lever training helps you with pull-ups. I haven't been doing any pull-ups whatsoever for the past four months, and we are gonna do a little test later on to see if my pull-up numbers have gone up or down or stayed the same. I think it'll be pretty interesting. Before we get into the test, I want to ask you guys if you could please stick around to the end of the video. I need some help with figuring out how I want to structure my workout plan moving forward. I have a few options that I wanna pick from, but I'm not sure what's right for me. So honestly, if you could stick around, I would really appreciate it. It's easier for me to ask you guys what to do and uh, take some of the responsibility off myself. And it's uh, more fun to do it that way as well. All right, we got the laptop out. That means it is time to check out these tests. First up, we have my max pull-up test. My personal best uh, before this episode was 21 pull-ups, so that is the number to beat. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I was able to squeeze out. All right, so one less pull-up than my previous max. Not too shabby for not having done any pull-ups for months now. So if you're wondering if you had to do pull-ups, to maintain your pulling strength, there is your answer. Kind of, not really, sort of, I don't know. I don't know if that was a good answer. <laughs> so right after testing my max pull-ups, I whipped out the gymnastic rings to see if I had any chance of doing a one-arm chin-up. This is how that went. Nowhere to be found, not surprisingly. But I did test out to see if I could do the pinky assisted version of the one arm chin up and this actually felt easier than it's ever felt. I was also able to hold myself at the top without any assistance pretty easily. So I think that this front lever training is getting me really strong in the end range of motion, this portion, and I'm not so good at the upper portion right now, <laughs> which totally makes sense because I'm not really training that upper portion of the movement at all. And to be fair, on the last episode, I was not anywhere closer to the one arm pull up or the one arm chin up than I am right now. So, hey, not too bad. Now we're gonna get into my actual front lever hold. And this one, this is a good one. <laughs> so if we look at my max hold times compared to last time, I am up one second on my total time. I posted a little short a few weeks ago, you might've seen it, but the form is looking pretty solid. It's not perfect, but hey, seven seconds with pretty goodish form, I will definitely take that. And I've been able to do some different variations of the front lever hold, like the mix grip and uh, 
testing around, grabbing the side, you know, doing a bunch of weird stuff. I was able to do all of that after testing my front lever pull up. So that is a huge win for me. And we already kind of touched on it, but let's quickly look at my front lever pull up attempt from this episode compared to last episode. So not a huge difference between them, maybe slightly better form on this episodes, but really hard to tell. I am, however, a lot more consistent in getting that front lever pull up form compared to last episode. All of my other attempts looked like garbage. So <laughs> definitely feeling more consistent this episode with that form. All right, and our last quick test, this one is going to be a live demonstration and it's gonna be testing my advanced tuck front lever pull ups. Got some cats to move out of the way. All right, so the number to beat for this episode is eight front lever pull-ups, getting my butt above my elbow. I am feeling moderately sore from all of the testing that I did for the rest of this uh, episode, but I'm gonna do my best to squeeze out eight or maybe one more, uh, but don't judge me if I can't get all the way there. My guess is that I got seven or eight on that one. I'm almost positive that ninth one didn't count. I just remembered that I don't have a thumbnail for this video yet, so let's go out and get one right now. Kind of weird, but this is the closest pair of parallel bars that I have access to, and I think it'll make a cool shot. All right, so now is the part of the video that I need your guys' help on. I'm trying to figure out if I should switch up my plan moving forward and how I should go about doing that. My first option is to do exactly what I did for this testing of this video, which is just try doing front lever pull-ups, try doing some front lever holds, and just call that my pulling day. I did that earlier this week and it felt like one of the hardest workouts that I've done in a long time. I'm still super sore from it, so that might be beneficial for me, but I don't know if that's a little bit too much. The second option that we could do is something that I've seen suggested from people in the comments section here and in other people's videos about trying to learn the front lever. What they do is use the single leg front lever pull up as their primary pulling exercise. I think that might be pretty beneficial. It's still pretty difficult for me to do that. So maybe I could just swap that into my current plan. I don't know, that's option number two. And then our last option is just to stick with what I've been doing with what's been working already which is band assisted front lever holds. I don't know if that's what is gonna help me get to the front lever pull up, just working on the hold. I don't know, I need some help from you guys. I need your knowledge. So if you wanna leave a comment in the comment section or give me any advice, I am open to hearing it. If you wanna stay up to date with me between this episode and the next episode when it comes to all of my front lever skills, you can follow me on my Instagram here. I'm trying to post some of my progress in my weekly trainings a little bit more on there. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did. Look for the next episode of the Front Lever series in about six months from now and expect some good results. Fingers crossed, hopefully. But until next time, good luck on your training. Peace.